I picked up um, some of these Jurassic World cars at uh, Walmart. I was in there one day a couple of weeks ago. Matchbox models of these uh, vehicles have always been pretty good, I think. The Jurassic Park series and all that. These ones are quite attractive, actually. There's a Unimog. Transport truck. Package artwork is uh, something else. This one here is probably my favorite because it reminds me of the original Jurassic Park movies. I still got it uh, labeled as Jurassic Park. I'll just take them out of the package. Uh, so you can see each vehicle. This one's a Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Kind of cool looking vehicle. Interior detail. Bear on the back. This must be some kind of security vehicle. I like the big push bar up front. Textron Tiger. Looks like it's a bit of an armored vehicle here. Another nice push bar on the front. Three spotlights. Nice. Same one again, only in uh, army green. Shows it off better, actually. Look at the detail. Yeah, these are well done. Here's that Unimog transport. Removable cover. Four seats in the back. Some tools. Very nice. Make a convoy out of those, it would look pretty cool. This one I like.
deal on the back for yeah, chains. Put the dyno in there, hold them down. I like that cab style. Gain some nice detail. Really nice. Well, like I said, this is my favorite of the works or of the bunch. Reminds me of the original movie. Really well done, this paint job. Matchbox has been uh, producing Jurassic Park toys since the first movie, so they've always done a good job on them. I've always liked the toys they produced, and uh, wish I'd gotten some of the play sets that they put out earlier. But they were well done too, lots of detail. So that's uh, Matchbox Jurassic Park vehicles. I picked up at Walmart a couple of weeks ago. Hope you enjoyed that little video on them. And a few other things I've been busy with. Um, I don't know if you remember my flea market finds quite a while ago. I found this uh, low loader by Corgi. I think that was actually from a toy show in Victoria. But it was missing the exhaust and the uh, filter here. I got them as spare parts. Or replacement parts. Got them installed the other day. Kind of completes that truck. And I use that to haul the Centurion tank by Corgi. Makes a nice rig, that. And another one that I was waiting on for parts on was this uh, Corgi Camaro. Also that uh, red dashboard, which I got, and it, the windshield snaps into it, and then it all snaps into the uh, front end there, or the dash area. It's kind of a neat car. So you can either, either have it as a convertible, and I ordered the top for it, which came. There it is. I think it looks pretty good like that. And, of 
course it's got the uh, this one's got the golden jacks all four wheels Anyways, that completes that one, and um, makes for a very nice model. It's not in mint condition, but it's in pretty decent uh, condition, paint-wise and stuff. So, that's the way she'll stay. I don't know if you remember, I showed you before these hideaway headlights which are a little touchy there that one closed again they're quite loose but it's a nice touch see the jewels in there I was glad to get those parts, complete that car. And at the flea market last week, I picked up this Chevy. It's a fire chief's car. It's two bucks, so. Got a pullback action, but I thought it was quite attractive. Done up in the fire chief colors. Actually, for a cheap model made in China, I think it was quite well done. Seven Chef. And I got the doors for this with a little garage. And Brian. And I'll get them painted and put on and show you that later too. Well I got the garage done. The door is painted and on the garage before I did this video, so I included this little clip of it. Yeah, I like these little toys, these ones. Accessory pack number three. Another thing at the flea market I got was a uh, found him originally in a box at a table of a guy I knew. That was the hint that uh, clued me in. I figured it's got to be from Robocop because I got a couple of Robocop figures have this pack on them. Folds down. Load a part of a roll of caps in there.
locks back in. And you can shoot the caps off. I looked up this guy online. His name is Wheels Wilson. This is his bike. Still got some stickers left. Last one was the uh, on the control cowl was a uh, complete decals, stickers in really good shape. Almost look like they're glow in the dark. And then these two sides for the front end. And the screw there and another screw in there. I took them off and cleaned them up, but I'm going to get some paint. Some of this type of paint. And redo them. And I saved the uh, Ultra Police stickers that were on it. And a couple of other stickers. It's kind of a neat find. I never see much of this stuff around, so I that's why I grabbed those two uh, Robocop figures. When it was last year. And it, as soon as I recognized that, I grabbed him. So it was two bucks for the bike and rider. And once it's painted up, I'll show you. What he looks like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.